Could you imagine stepping out of work only to find that your car has vanished into thin air? Yes, today we delve into a riveting case from the court of Judge Judy, where a stolen car and a blame game come together to create a saga of suspense and mystery. Our story begins on a seemingly ordinary day. Two young ladies, let's call them Jane and Sue, had just wrapped up another grueling day at the office. However, as they stepped outside, they were greeted with an empty parking space where Jane's car should have been. Shock turned to disbelief as they quickly realized that Jane's car hadn't just grown legs and walked away. It had been stolen. But this isn't just a simple case of a stolen car. No, the plot thickens. Jane and Sue had an idea of who the culprit might be. A young man who we'll call Tom had been hanging around their office. Tom, they claimed, had shown a keen interest in Jane's car, often admiring it and asking questions about it. They were convinced that Tom had stolen the car. Fast forward to the court of Judge Judy, Jane and Sue with their accusations and Tom with his defense. Tom vehemently denied the allegations, stating he had nothing to do with the stolen car. He argued that his interest in the car was purely out of admiration and nothing more. The tension was palpable as Judge Judy listened to both sides. The arguments flew back and forth, but with no concrete evidence linking Tom to the theft, it seemed like a stalemate. But if you know Judge Judy, you know she has a knack for getting to the bottom of things. Judge Judy, with her seasoned expertise, asked probing questions, trying to untangle the web of accusations and denials. She noted that while Jane and Sue were quick to point fingers, they had no substantial proof to back their claims. Then came the verdict. Judge Judy ruled in favor of Tom. She stated, Suspicion does not equate to guilt. Without concrete evidence or a credible witness, we cannot hold Tom responsible for the stolen car. The court echoed with her words, a stark reminder that accusations without proof are simply assumptions. And with that, another intriguing case in the court of Judge Judy came to a close. A stolen car, a blame game, and a verdict that reminded everyone that evidence, not suspicion, is the backbone of justice. This case served as a testament to Judge Judy's wisdom and integrity, reinforcing the importance of proof over assumptions in the pursuit of justice.